Uh, Roland and Michelle, the city council meeting did just wrap up here. And as you said, the city and Uber failed to come to a compromise to an interim agreement. That means that Uber is not allowed to operate in the city of Boise and charge riders. It is unclear if Uber will continue to operate in the city and offer those free rides. One of the big sticking points of tonight's meeting was safety of passengers. They kept bringing up the background checks of the drivers of Uber. Uber says that their background checks are multi-state background checks. They're done at the federal level. They check for sex offenders. They track driving records. They say that they're adequate. Most of the city council members, minus two, TJ Thompson and Laura McClague, said that they were not concerned about the background checks. They said that they wanted fingerprinting done on all of the drivers for Uber. That's something that taxi drivers currently do right now in this city. It's to make sure that if there is a felony that's done after that background is check is performed, that it will immediately alert the owners of the company, such as Uber or the taxi service. That then allows them to take action against the driver. But right now, the city will hold a meeting on February 24th to draft an ordinance. They didn't feel like the interim agreement that was proposed tonight was enough. They'll draft that ordinance on the 24th and then hopefully have some sort of official agreement within the next four to six weeks. That way, Uber can officially start charging its riders. For now, we're live in Boise. Chris Oswalt, Fox 9, on your side.